kick in the face, side kick in the face, I go back, I measure distance, I go back a little bit, okay, and I'm thinking about kicking his front leg, okay, now I kick very hard the front leg and I see his pain in the face and I grab him by the arms so he couldn't move and I kick twice again the same leg and he just fall, fell down in pain so the medic had to come and check his front leg and he couldn't continue this is one of my fights where I uh, won by knockout it was a technical knockout he couldn't continue fighting uh, this is the most important national championship in Venezuela there's nothing more important than this championship if you want to know more about it about this fight and another fight in the same championship stay with me and let's get to it all right so this is called los juegos nacionales so it's pretty much like national games in Venezuela and it kind of mimic what it would be like the Olympics somehow but in a national way for example you have all the different sports even the sports that go to the Olympic you have it in one national championship so this is what it's called Los Juegos Nacionales so that's what I said before this is the most important championship any athlete in Venezuela could participate in okay so we were uh, there with the entire team uh, of my state and of course I was representing my school I was representing the state and these were the finals okay what you're gonna see next is the second the second fight of the finals all right so in order to pretty much we qualify eight people qualified for the finals and you were going to your first fight if you want you were going to move to the semifinals and if you want you were going to move to the finals that's how it worked okay uh, so this is my second fight before going to the finals all right so let's take a look at it. Um, I was in black color. Okay, this is my master, pretty much setting me up for the fight, uh, telling me about the strategy because uh, we already saw this fighter before, right? I found out later that he was a boxer, okay, and that he participated in national championships in boxing. And the reason I mention this is because even when he was a boxer, he couldn't pretty much touch my face with punches, all right? Uh, so this is the start of the fight. We salute. And the strategy here was pretty much kicks, right? Keeping distance, all right? So he, he couldn't, he could use his, uh, uh, punches right so I was going to my strategy my, my strategy was going to be keeping the distance using the, the front side kick okay so that's another one there moving back a little bit keeping the distance again I kick uh, round kick okay I go down and I grab him and I take him down okay that takedown there if you see him he is dizzy after that okay and then I kick and then I throw two punches there and I saw him he was dizzy so I wanted to take advantage of that so that's how I oh, another side kick in the face and a punch okay I wanted to knock him, knock, knock him down there I saw he was dizzy so it was my my chance okay everybody there was cheering for me because they knew me since I was I don't know six years old right all these people here so they are looking at my fight uh, I'm trying to keep my distance again trying to 
hit with the front leg, I grab him, and that that's nothing. Okay, we both left the leg tie. Uh, so my master wa wanted me to just go around because we pretty much won the, the round, but I wanted to knock him down. So psychic in the face again. That's uh, two points. And then I go down, I go back. Uh, and now I'm thinking about kicking his front leg. I kick hard and I saw him in pain. And I grab him so he couldn't move and I kick twice the same leg and he just falls down and he couldn't fight anymore. So I was, uh, I used to kick very powerful. I saw him, he was in pain, and I was like, this is my chance to knock him down. So I grabbed him, uh, even with the boxing glove, it's difficult to grab somebody, but I grabbed him in a way that he couldn't move when I was kicking his front leg. So I kicked the first time with power, and then I kicked the second time, and he just fell. Okay, he couldn't, he couldn't stand up anymore. So that's how he stand up with difficulty, okay? But then after that, the fight finished, and I was the winner by technical knockout. He, could, he couldn't fight anymore. Uh, and that was actually the, the finish of the round number one, so the first round. And I got my first round, obviously, and then for the second round, he couldn't move. I was showing respect there. Uh, it was it, this is called Medida State, it's in the west side of Venezuela, and that was the end of the fight. So this is. Let me move to the first fight. Okay, so different strategy. Okay, uh, the fight already started. This was the second round. I won the first round. This I took him down there, right? So this fight, he was frustrated, he hit the lay tie, frustrated, because I, I was taking him down. This was, this was my strategy. So the guy was a, a strong hitter as well. So I was just taking distance, going down and taking him down, right? And then the other one was this, look at that takedown. I grab him and I do that move from stretch out, right? I pass him through my shoulder down and that was that didn't count with it was after the referee counted three seconds and I go back I'm watching his front punch and I take him down there that was a point even when when he kicked my leg but I took him down so again I went I stand up I tried to grab him I tried to take him down again, I couldn't, okay, go back, but the strategy here was a little bit different than the other one, this was more takedown than the previous fight, okay, I was just waiting for him, I grab him, and I, boom, take him down again, I remember this, everybody was so excited about me um, taking him down this way, because no, nobody was doing it, basically, in the entire championship. So I was the one bringing this up. Um, it's difficult to grab somebody with a boxing box. Kick in the, in the chest, okay? And that was enough to win the fight. Uh, that was the first fight, so that took me to the next one that you just saw. And this was the first fight, very important fight to move to the semi-finals, right? This was the second time that I fought this uh, person from Guadalupe State. And I was there just talking to uh, my Shifu. And he was just um, uh, saying congratulations for the first fight. Uh, we gotta uh, be better in the second fight. And it was about moving up the ladder right until we got to the finals unfortunately I got to the finals and I got too much pressure in this fight I trained so hard for this competition and I couldn't I couldn't win the gold medal I got silver medal silver medal 
second place I lost my last fight against um, a person from Bolivar State uh, and then I found out it was funny because I talking to the guy after the fight he was like do you remember me and I was like not really you you fought with me when we were 17 years old and you kicked my butt very hard and I just had in mind this moment to take revenge against you so when the guy was telling me this I was like wow I I didn't remember that honestly okay well good for you you know I guess we're tie 1-1 one, one. Um, so I, I didn't perform, perform well in the last fight and that's still in my heart because like I said this is the most important championship in Venezuela. Everybody wants to win a gold medal in this championship. And, you know, I've been through multiple championships in my entire career, but I couldn't, I couldn't win a gold medal in these national games. I participated in Sanda and I participated in traditional um, forms as well or taolu and again I got another silver medal in taolu even when I was the national championship and the national uh, member of the national team I couldn't win the gold medal in the national games again this is still chasing me um, this is something that I I cannot take out of my heart because I'm retired already and I couldn't win this precious gold medal. It was the most important one that I wanted, even more important than the world championship, that the world Kung Fu championships. I'm gonna say this again. This medal to me was more important than the world Kung Fu championships medals that I've won in my career. So just to give you an idea of how important this was to me and I couldn't finish. Thank you for watching. Um, this is just to show you a little bit more that I'm not just uh, um, an athlete or uh, a practitioner that used to do forms only because that's what I keep posting in my channel, right? Forms, applications, and that's important. I consider myself a complete practitioner. In order to be a complete practitioner, you have to be good not only in forms, taolu, right, applications and all that, but also uh, in fighting, right, either sanda or uh, whatever the the division is or or the. Um, the style that you practice for sparring uh, but you have to be a complete martial artist because when we when we learn martial arts when we learn Chinese martial arts we should be able to um, use it at some point you you have to be prepared you have to be um, good in all the different um, styles and divisions uh, within the Chinese uh, martial arts. I remember Master Jason So uh, saying the importance of getting on a lay tie at least once in your life and experience this, right? How many, how many uh, people have said, oh, I fought in a lay tie, I fought in, in a sanda, I fought in not too many, right? Uh, so it's it's very important. Uh, that's something that I really checked the box uh, previously in my career as an athlete, as a competitor. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't keep fighting because I hurt my back uh, when I was uh, twenty, when I was eighteen years old. Actually, when I fought in this in this fight, I. Uh, I already had a back surgery in this competition uh, done probably 
this was in 2021 something like that so three years earlier and not only that but I broke my left arm uh, training like three months before this competition three or four months before this competition so uh, I had a surgery I had a plate and a couple screws and I said you know what I'm gonna go for it and and I did unfortunately we couldn't win the gold medal but again the things happens right so thanks again for watching this is Jorge Perez from Utan Shaolin Kung Fu showing you a little bit of uh, my life as a, as a fighter, as a competitor in uh, sparring in Sanda, okay? So I hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, uh, put your comment below. What do you think about the fight? Uh, if you really, if you have experienced something like this before, that would really help. So thank you again.